Welcome to Rhema for Living Daily Devotional Broadcast. It is written and forever remains true. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. The Word of God is the secret for victorious and quality living. Rhema for Living is an inspirational and spiritually uplifting daily devotional written by Apostle and Reverend Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman to give you spiritual direction for each new day and empowerment for all-around successful Christian living. Enjoy special features like updates of upcoming events of Apostle Johnson Suleiman, Omega Fire Ministry, and many more. Get the word ever fresh. Rhema for Living. This is your day. Hi there. Welcome to the 25th day of September. Our topic today is the Wilderness Experience Part 2. And it's written by God's anointed servant, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman. Our text is from the book of Isaiah 43 verse 2. And it says, And when thou passest through the waters, I will be be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee the bible says in first corinthians 10 verse 13 there hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So every wilderness experience is not strange to man. And no matter what a child of God is going through, he or she has the capacity to bear it and come out victoriously because of the way of escape provided by God. Why then are some believers grounded or defeated during their wilderness experience? The reason is that they allow themselves to be carried away by the circumstances they are in, focusing on these circumstances rather than on the solution in God, which is greater than the problem. They forget Zephaniah 3 verse 17, The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty, he will save. They forget 1 John 4 verse 4, it says, Ye are God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Their ignorance made them to try or to cry, to murmur and complain, declaring words of fear and defeat, rather than pray and exercise faith in words and action. They forget that they are in a battle and their words and actions determine the outcome of the situation. Faith turns God on while fear invites the enemy. The ten spies with negative reports of fear rated the opposition higher than them and brought doom to the Israelites. That shall not be your portion in life in Jesus' name. Our prayer today is, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, every wilderness experience will turn out for my good. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Thank you.